What's going on YouTube? My name's Alex. This is As to Cheese Gaming. And welcome back to another list of games you should play this summer. This time, let's talk about the Xbox 360. I got a whole bunch of games for this one. And again, like my usual caveat, I'm trying not to show off any RPGs here for this list. Just more pick up and play style games. But before we get into this little stack here, I got a couple quick honorable mentions I want to go over real fast. First one, I mentioned in my previous video, that is this awesome racing game called by Activision called Blur. Fantastic arcade style racing mixed with Mario Kart. Highly recommend this game if you don't own it. But it can be a little bit tedious trying to get some of the unlockables in this game, so just be aware of that. But a lot to this game actually. The next one's another racing game, but I haven't really spent enough time with it, so maybe someone could put down in the comments below that a split second with Black Rock Studio and Disney. I haven't sucked enough time into this, but the little bit that I have played, it seems like a pretty fun pick up and play game. So if you've spent more time on this, comment below, let me know. But it seems like a really cool pick up and play racing game. So. With those two quick honorable mentions out of the way, let's get right into this list. First game, needs no introductions. Gotta have a shooter for this list. That is Gears of War. You go with Gears of War 2 or 3. I just chose two for the purpose of this video. Whether you want to play a couple quick rounds of Horde, maybe run through a story chapter with a buddy, or maybe you just want to goof around for a little bit yourself. I think it's good to have a shooter, so... And in my opinion, this has the best story of the three, so we got Gears of War 2, the first one. Next, let's get our another racing game in here. I think one of the best ones on the console, and actually one of my favorite racing games of all time, Sonic All-Stars Racing Transformed. Absolutely love this racing game. Fantastic, fantastic game. I can get it open. Ugh. Well, well worth picking up and playing. Even the first one's really good too, which is called Sonic Sega All-Stars Racing, featuring Banjo-Kazooie. So, highly, highly recommend this game if you don't already own it. But let's continue right along. How about a party game? Yes, we have a party game for the Xbox 360. Viva Pinata Party Animals. Hey, hey! Well, the Viva Pinata games are more of like a sandbox where you build your own garden that'll just take your life away. Better games for the winter time. This is a party game, so grab four friends and local or, I don't know, maybe people still play this online. I'm not totally sure. But a lot of fun. Mrs. Ask the Cheese Gaming and I have actually spent a lot of time in this. And actually, during the last winter, Mrs. Ask the Cheese, myself, and Baby Cheese actually all played three-player in this game. So it was a lot of fun. We enjoyed it. We all got to play together, so it was kind of nice. So there you go. We got a party game on this list. Let's continue right along. How about a space shoot 'em up for the Xbox 360 and one that'll be featured soon on Super Sunday? Raiden Trad 4. Oh, yeah. I think one of the better space shoot 'em ups on the Xbox 360. But I haven't played all of them, so really hard game, but a lot of fun, a lot of bright colors, really fast paced. Two CDs in here. Thank you to my friend who got me this version all complete, so looking so, so nice. Thank you again. He knows who he is. Let's not gawk at this game anymore. Let's continue with the list. How about a fighting game? There's a couple of different ones that I could have chosen, but for this one, I decided to go with Dead or Alive 5, made by Team Ninja and Tecmo. Or you could swap this one out for Soul Calibur 4 if you prefer, or maybe if you prefer one of the Mortal Kombat games, those are all okay, but I decided to go with Dead or Alive 5. You could play like the time trial mode in this game, which is pretty quick pick up and play or survival and just see how long you can last. So really fits that pick up and play motif where you just do a single battle versus the computer for a couple rounds and maybe versus a friend. So we get Dead or Alive 5. And one more game to show you guys. For action adventure games, I decided to go with Dante's Inferno. Of all the action adventure games that I have, I think this is the most pick up and play friendly. 
There's plenty of checkpoints in this game. It's not too difficult, especially on lower difficulties. I mean, realistically, you can fly through a level in like 15, 20 minutes, maybe even half an hour at the most. So really fits that. Pick up and play. I mean, if you really wanted to, you could probably beat this game in like a single day if you really tried. But solid game, highly recommend it. So let's run through those again real quick for you. Got Dante's Inferno, Dead or Alive 5, Raiden, Viva Pinata Party Animals, and Gears of War. What'd you think of my list? Put yours down below. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Until next time.